There's a new Batwoman heading to Gotham City, and she's being played by Javicia Leslie. And with a new actress means a completely new original character that'll be putting on the bat suit. Don't worry, we're gonna break this all down for you guys right now on The Catch Up. In the certified fresh first season of The CW Show, Ruby Rose starred as Bruce Wayne's cousin, Kate Kane, AKA Batwoman, and became the first LGBTQ plus character to officially headline their own show in the Arrowverse. Is there something you'd like to report to your squad? But with Rose deciding to leave the show after one season back in May, the CW announced that Javicia Leslie will be stepping in to star when Batwoman returns for season two next year, becoming the first black actress to play the iconic role in a live action series. This is huge. Now, if you're not familiar with Javicia, she's best known for roles on the CBS series God Friended Me and the BET drama The Family Business. I'm loving it and I'm loving this. But just so you know, she's not playing Kate Kane. Leslie will play a brand new character named Ryan Wilder who has no ties to the comics, meaning there's no precedent for her story. An actual original character? Groundbreaking. <laughs> A leaked casting call from the CW describes Ryan as nothing like Kate Kane, saying she spent years as a drug runner, dodging the Gotham PD. She's an out lesbian that is highly skilled, wildly undisciplined, and very much not your stereotypical all-American hero. I'm in. And in a statement released with the casting news, Leslie said, quote, I am extremely proud to be the first black actress to play the iconic role of Batwoman on television. And as a bisexual woman, I'm honored to join this groundbreaking show, which has been such a trailblazer for the LGBTQ plus community. And it's worth noting the introduction of Ryan Wilder does not mean the end of Kate Kane. Nope, showrunner Caroline Dree said on Twitter recently, we will never erase her. In fact, her disappearance will be one of the mysteries of season two. So do we think everyone in the show will know that Kate Kane was Batwoman now that she's missing? Food for thought. Speaking of which, and FYI, this is the part with spoilers, the first season that was cut short by two episodes due to the COVID-19 pandemic ended in dramatic fashion when Kate's evil sister Alice murdered Mouse, a beloved ally. Now, that dynamic between sisters was due to be a major plot point moving forward, and with Alice along with other key villains already established, shifting the narrative to incorporate a new star character is gonna be tricky. Although so I am stoked to see Alice and Ryan go up against each other if that happens. Oh, I have a lot of requests. And while we don't know much about how Ryan will fit in, Dries did reveal at the virtual ATX television festival recently that in her past, she was inspired by Batwoman. She's gonna take on the mantle and is completely, maybe not the right person at the time to be doing it, but that's what makes it fun. All right, friends, well, let's have some fun. It's time for us to kick it over to you guys now. Are you excited for the new Batwoman? Let us know all your thoughts, feelings in the comment section. And for more movie and streaming news, head on over to RottenTomatoes.com. Also, do not forget to give our fan group on Facebook a look too, because the Ketchup Crew is waiting to hang out with you. And if you don't want to miss out on any future episodes of this show, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And as always, thank you guys for watching The Ketchup. My name is Az Perez, and we hope to see your face in the next video. Bye.